Hi, it's Dan from On The Go Leisure, and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace the remote faceplate on your back caddy remote. Uh, the tools that you're gonna to need to complete this is some isopropyl alcohol, and you'll also need a heat gun or hair dryer if you have one available. Um, and what we're also gonna use a, a, a razor blade or a knife to kind of peel back this uh, faceplate here. So we're gonna start by heating up the, uh, the face plate, but try not to go too close if you're using a heat gun, uh, because what it can do is kind of start to melt um, the actual cover of the remote. So uh, you want to avoid getting too close for now. You can see some of the edges already. You may not need the uh, the knife to get the edge to come off. And what you're gonna find, usually like the buttons have worn out and some dirt has started creeping in. So you're gonna want to use some isopropyl alcohol to clean the surface off so that when you apply the face plate, it's actually gonna bond well to the surface. If you just kind of put it over top with the dirt and maybe there's some leftover adhesive, it's not gonna stick very well. And then you're just gonna experience, you know, one, it's not gonna feel right, and two, it's gonna start lifting again. So just wait for the uh, isopropyl to evaporate, and then we're gonna remove sticker backing here. And then we're gonna apply. I usually start at the top here and I kind of just push the, the face plate up against it and then I'll just lay it out but you just gonna make sure that you're aligned on both sides and then once you have it on just make sure you run your thumb across for a good 30 seconds or so just to make sure that you've applied pressure all around the plate and then I would also Go to each button and make sure that uh, the adhesive has been has fully um, applied itself around the surface here. And that is how you install a remote faceplate. 